Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect Systems video show coverage for the Hi-Fi Show Live 2018. Make sure to go and visit our website for Hi-Fi news, reviews and more. And the idea behind this workshop was to have uh, analog and digital source on very high level, let's say in comparison, um, I don't think that they are real opponents, lots of us probably have digital and analog sources in their system. But what happens all the time on hi-fi shows is uh, that people come and say, oh, I haven't heard, or I haven't listened to a turntable for 20 years. Yeah? And so this is an opportunity to get an idea what analog sound, what vinyl sound can be about. Mm. And this is also one reason for this workshop. Uh, the other day I had a show in Stuttgart and I had a different kind of turntable and in the pause some younger guys, 15, 16, 17 years old, they came and said, oh, is this a turntable? I said, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, still available. I said, yeah. But only for a mu museum, huh? No, no, I said, you can buy it. Can you play? So it was paused, so I played at a low level, some uh, vinyl, and the sound was excellent. And they were crazy. <coughs> they expected some gramophone <laughs> sound coming out. And uh, so I thought, how old I am. <laughs> yeah. Can we, can we put this on? May I, may I touch this? Ah, oh, it works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not high noon. I was asked. Uh, so I, we will, so we have this comparison, let's say, uh, of the CD player and the record player, the vinyl record player, the SD synergy. Uh, I brought in some hybrid files for streaming as well, but uh, Padut said, uh, no, no, we just do it with the Nagra, and they are right, because the Nagra, just with CD 16-bit 44.1 KX, sounds mostly much better than even the good streamer with hybrid. <laughs> this machine is extraordinary, this Nagra CDC, and the turntable probably as well. So, shall we start? Okay. So all the world will know how bad my English is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for the big interest here. Uh, my name is Matthias Böde from Stereo Magazine, uh, a big hi-fi magazine from Germany. And um, Paul Miller, the organizer here, he asked me to come again and again this year to show you something uh, interesting aspects out of the hi-fi and high end world. And now, as I explained, we have here this uh, comparison of the same music of a very good digital and analog source. And to say it again, the digital source is the Nagra CDC. This is this small machine here. here. And the uh, vinyl player is a very, very new SMB Synergy combined vinyl player, uh, which comes with a high class MC cartridge from Autophone, the Winfield TI, and has in a very high class phono stage as well. So you don't need any external phono stage or whatever. So, first thing, do you want to start with the CD player or with the vinyl? I don't care. Let's start with the, with the vinyl. This is actually important. So, we have similar music, uh, whether from CD, that comes from our stereo listening CD volume 8. Um, it's a song uh, from Wolfgang Bernreuter, for Ole. Mm, this English is also not so good, I think. My Deutsch is kaputt. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. 
that you heard via CD. Huh? Yeah. Uh, so it could be on a subjective side, it could be, but objective, mm, that's uh, the second example. We have here our listening test edition. This is something very special. You get a high class DNM cut, 180 gram, Sugar reduced, fat free <laughs> for American listeners. <laughs> Vinyl and in the same package, and this, uh, we see the striking thing, the important thing. Sorry. There's an English seat inside. We deliver three discs, a uh, hybrid SACD for every CD and SACD player, 
um, a DVD ROM with a hybrid files in 24 bits, 192, and even uh, a Blu-ray audio only disc with the music for the lost souls who listen to their music via Blu-ray player. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't take it too serious. <laughs> <laughs> and so, this vinyl was made from this 24 bits 192kx hybrid file. Um, maybe we start with CD, because I'll just uh, switch it. And uh, we hear Monty Alexander, almost like being in love. By the way, all uh, recordings are done with by Chesky Records from New York. Oh, so very high quality label. change or do anything in your system without uh, having any differences as a result. But the astonishing thing is <coughs> it's a very lively, very open three-dimensional recording and the turntable can give this as well. Mm -hmm. Did you feel any loss of detail? No. no. So in this case the digital sound was a little bit smoother uh, here. Our turntable was a little bit sharper, a little bit going uh, yeah, mm -hmm. higher, and, uh, but in the end on the same level, sound quality on the same level, even with vinyls made from hybrid files. And uh, as I said before, playing the hybrid file with a normal streamer would be the quality below of uh, the Nagra CDC, because the CD player is really outstanding. Um, so it's no loss of uh, energy and details and three-dimensional sound stage playing the CD here. Um, 
You know why a vinyl sounds like a vinyl sounds? So every technical system has its own fingerprint and sound, of course. Yeah? And uh, uh, I can tell you the story, shall I? Take mm -hmm. three, three minutes. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting. Um, beginning of the 90s, I was working for a magazine called Hi-Fi Vision. It was in Hanover, publishing house in Hanover. And we had a very smart, bright idea to cut our favorite CD tracks on vinyl. And so when we do cartridge tests, turntable tests, whatever, we can play this and compare this to the original CDs and see what gets closest to uh, 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 the CD sound. And so to the original in this case. Uh, so I'm from Germany, we do such crazy things here. Uh, and uh, so I was uh, phoning Winfried Saal. Winfried Saal at that time, he was one of the best cutting engineers in Germany, doing all the high class cuts for expensive high class vinyls. And I talked about, uh, to him to, uh, about this idea and he said, well, very nice idea, but it won't work. I said, why? Smart idea. And he said, well, send me over your CD player, your CDs, and your cables. So we sent, at that time, we had a reference CD player, Sony CDP779. Uh, so we sent it over with our high-class NF cables uh, and our CDs, of course. Yeah? And Winfried uh, Sam said, before we go to pressing, I cut you some lacquers. You can play those lacquers, so direct cuts here, yeah? uh, three, four, five times without loss, and then they decrease in quality very soon. But you can see what it's all about. And so after 10 days, 40 days, for the fortnight, uh, all the, the stuff came back. And so we went to our listening room and put the CD player, the Sony in this position, connected it to our Burmester 808 preamplifier. Uh, we had uh, a reference turntable. It was a Simon York S4 at that time. It was a Graham 1.5 tungsten toner and oil technica Art 1 MC cartridge. So very nice turntable. And now we started to listen to those direct cut lacquers from the Sun to the original CDs they were cut from. And the best thing that might have happened was that Winfried Sound had a lossless copy here yeah, so that the lacquers sound as good as the CDs they were cut from. But in fact, the lacquers sounded much better than the CDs <laughs> they were cut from. More space, more details, more air, more colors, more dynamics even. So hmm, I found Winfried Sahn again and talked to him about that. He said, well, I could have told you before. Uh, and I said, yeah, but why? He said, well, when you're in a digital system and you have a signal going from zero to one, it goes from zero to one and back and forth, and all this way, you know this. He yeah. says, so in an analog system, it's the same, but you have a mass while cutting and while playback. So it doesn't only go to one, it goes a little bit beyond. No? So you have overshot and undershots. So not only while cutting, also while playback. Even when you have a high quality cartridge with a very lightweighted cantilever and diamond and uh, coil uh, armature, yeah, you have mass. So you produce over and undershots. So you get more dynamics that's in the original. And then the second thing is you have uh, distortions. K2, K4, K6, K8. These are pleasant distortions for our ear. Our brain um, takes it as room information, as coloration, as uh, breathe yeah, yeah, through the sound. And, but it's not in the original system. And you have it while cutting and you have it while playing, also in this case. Mm -hmm. OK. Three, four years ago, I was talking, hi, Adrian. I was talking to uh, um, Professor Keith Johnson. You know Keith Johnson, reference recordings. Yeah. Uh, he's a real genius, and he knows so many things about hi-fi and high-end, not only from the sound side, but also from the technical side. Um, and I talked to him about the thing. I said, well, this is all is correct, but there's one thing more. I said, what can be more? And when I tell you this now, you will be among a very, very, very small group around the globe who knows about that. 
So it's useless knowledge, but <laughs> 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 maybe to impress your high fi uh, colleagues that are friends. Um, so I said, what can be more? And he said, well, um, you know these, uh, when you have earthquakes, how do you call it? This, uh, uh, Wait. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 this uh, thing to uh, uh, write these. Richard Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You, you oh, sorry, just, yeah. just bring it to your mind that when you bring it to your mind, you know that on the fast track, they have a very thin line. Mm -hmm. And on the curves, the, t the line becomes thicker yeah, and blacker, let's say, or broader. Uh, that is cut. And, and the same thing happens while cutting a vinyl. And the vinyl that the cutting head makes a quite thin line, and in the turn, it sinks a little bit inside the lacquer <coughs> and makes a little bit broader line. And, so, and that, the result is while playbacking, you have a lift up and down movement of the stylus in the groove which is not in the original si signal. Mm -hmm. And this leads to a phase shift that gives you the impression of more sound stage, mm -hmm. bigger sound stage mm -hmm. of more air, more mm -hmm. room. Yeah? Mm -hmm. and, then, so, and even the specialists, they don't know about that. I, will, I told this story to lots of cutting engineers, and they said, well, we never saw this from this perspective, but this guy's right. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know as well. <coughs> Five more minutes, one more track. I have brought something very special for you. Yep. Come on. You're not here for the fun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now I go to 45. Now it gets uh, strict here. I have brought you. I show you why I wear this. Uh, this pink shirt and pink tie just to fit to unbesong. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, is that a nice uh, cover? Yeah. So when you're in a bad mood, just look at the cover and everything is okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, done, this is a double vinyl that was cut last year at Bernie Grundman's in Los Angeles. You know Bernie Grundman was, uh, or is one of the big two, which used to be the big three. Uh, mastering engineers, Bernie Grundman, Doug Sachs, and Kevin Gray. Doug Sachs, he passed away two years ago, so only the big two, Kevin Gray and uh, Bernie Grundman. And he has uh, cutting machines in his studio. It's a mastering lab, uh, mainly, but they can also record. And so there's this direct cut from the musicians to the lecker. It's a direct cut. That means that you have for every uh, 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 Side you have to play at once. If you have a mistake, you let go. You start from the beginning. Uh, Andy Song and Herr Trio. And here we have this. Uh, where's my oh, here. This is uh, vinyl. This vinyl is 120 euros. Was sold out within five days. <laughs> More than 400 copies in Germany gone. Worldwide, 3,000 copies. And this is the C. This is 35 euros, also nice. Let's see if we can kill the Nagos. <laughs> <laughs> this is something very special. But the Pedute guy said, you're so spoiled and picky that I have to bring real good stuff here. <laughs> the motors and the drive uh, are the same like in the last <laughs> rover. <laughs> so you know where the high price comes from. <laughs> I only buy products from Switzerland. So, what do you like to hear first? Now first I have to play the Nagra. Because this is so special that it has to be at the end. I can't be there. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a song, Summer We Winter. atmosphere, mm -hmm. coloration, warmth, mm -hmm. liveliness mm -hmm. inside. And uh, of course the CD with the CDC sounds quite good, but this direct cut vinyl is uh, over the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a different, in a different cosmos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I wanted to show you here, that you have, of course, you can reach very high quality with your digital sources when you have very nice digital sources. And the, but the astonishing thing is, 
vinyl and turntables don't have to hide. They can be on a very high level, can play on a very high level. And when you have such uh, gems like this uh, vinyl here from Ambisson, uh, you can play a new world of its own. Thank you very much. Thanks to Perdue for this chance to show this here and have a nice show. Maybe we see each other on some other workshop today. Don't miss 4 p.m. at Absolute Sounds Hall. <laughs> <laughs>Next year, the Hi-Fi show live moves to Royal Ascot, where even bigger and better things are being planned. See you all there next year.